Hey guys, in today's video, we will see the process of creating this parametric wall. Let's see step by step how to create this type of model here in 3ds Max. If you like the contents, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what you like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! First, we will create a line. It will serve as the base for the wall design. Holding shift will create a copy of the line downwards and we will continue the process of drawing the shape. Again, we will create another copy and adjust the space and size between the lines. Now let's use the cross section of the fire and then the surface to transform the lines into a 3D mesh. I will enable the normal flip and in steps I will leave the volume at zero. We add an edit poly and we will extrude the top and bottom parts of the wall. I'm going to create a notch at the bottom by holding shift and extruding the lines. Now I'm going to add loops between the lines we created to create a deep effect in the model. With these lines we will apply a chamfer to make the edges harder. The same inside. Here, I will use the scale to maintain a smooth curvature between the shapes. Once that is done, we will add support loops to the edges to keep in the corner harder. And we will add open subdivide modifier to soften the shape. Now let's add a line a little larger than the model size again. We adjust the thickness and width it so that it crosses the entire model. With shift, we will create copies until it fills the entire shape we created. With attach, we want to all the lines into a single mesh. We convert it to editable poly, and with boolean modifier, we use the intersect option to create a new shape from the two models created. We convert it back to editable poly and we will now clean up our mesh by delete the edges. Let's do this through the entire model, make sure not to leave any edges behind so we don't have any problems adding thickness to our piece.
After that, we use the Vertex Clean tool to delete the vertices that are not connected to an edge horizontally. The link to download the script is in the video description. Just select all vertices and click in Vertex Clean. It will automatically select the lowest vertices and then we click on Clean It and that's it. Now let's adjust the slower part. Let's select some vertices that will be deleted. Hold down Ctrl and change to the Edge Mode. Now we will remove the side edges from the selection as they should be not deleted. Once it is done, with Ctrl Backspace, we delete these lines. Let's reduce the size of this detail and adjust the edge on the border, make it more uniform. Now, we add the shell with 0.1 in the inner amount and select the Select Inner Face option. So when we add Edit Poly, all the faces that we created will already be selected. We then we align on the Z-axis to flatten the back of the piece. Finally, I will reduce this detail a little at the bottom. And that's it. The model is finished. I hope you like the contents. See you next time. Bye.